We, uh, Jill is a member of the American uh, Association of Psychotherapy. She's a psychotherapist here in Houston. Met through our mutual friends at Houston Baptist University. Um, it, it's crazy out there, Jill. These people are out right. there. Every day you think they couldn't lose any more of their cookies, and they keep losing more of their cookies. I went and watched your uh, video on Judge Janine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so I didn't watch the view. I'm not a view person. Nothing against it. Uh, so I went and watched the view because I was interested. I was I heard her side and I wanted to see what really happened. And watching that, um, there's something called post-traumatic stress syndrome, and I've or disorder, and I've I've talked about that before. And I I cannot diagnose people that have it without seeing them. So not all Democrats, but a lot of them to me appear to have this disorder. And I'm going to tell you how come. So there's uh, three classes of symptoms. There's hypervigilance. There's intrusive symptoms, which I can't really tell if they have. And then there's the avoidance uh, behavior. So hypervigilance basically is, is that all your senses, and it really is a protective thing. So if you've been through trauma, you don't want to have that trauma again, Sam. So what happens in our body is all our senses are heightened. So this can cause people to have severe emotional reactions. So instead of just getting irritated or angry, they get enraged. And so, and you, and you have irrational thoughts. Uh, People that have this can be uh, paranoid. And so if you look and, and remember, when we have trauma, because what can cause PTSD is indirect or direct exposure to trauma, and it's perceived trauma, Sam. So remember, I know this was, as you said, 551 days ago? Yes. Is, is that correct? Okay. Yes. So <laughs> 551 days ago, we had something happen that was very traumatic to a lot of people. And not only was it traumatic, they've been doing this group think, which has been what is a snowball effect. And I have a dear friend of mine that I'm doing business with that's a lawyer, and I'm not going to say she's she's most likely not Republican. And she listens to NPR, and she told me she said she's sick of the news. She says Trump is doing a great job. Uh, I listen to NPR and I'm doing something called news cleanse because I just can't take it anymore. You know, the economy's really doing great. Uh, we're getting along with uh, people or nations. and right, right. We, right. And so she, who's very educated and a lawyer, she's just using her common sense and saying, you know, this is just ridiculous. So the reason it's gotten all one-sided, I don't know if you've ever met anybody that has PTSD. When someone has PTSD, it causes divorces. It, it, people have, uh, they isolate, they have problems relating because look what happened with Whoopi Goldberg. If you watch, and I'm not saying she has it, but watch, the, you need to watch it. She's sitting there on hypervigilant behavior. Right. She's, she, you know, her posture. Every, and then when, oh my gosh. <laughs> Judge Janine semi-pointed, oh, that was the trigger, and then she was set off. It was like a gun. So her hypervigilance, that one little point which might have gotten you, you know, oh, what is Janine doing? Uh, She just went like she was really physically shot. So there you go. That's what's going on, and I think that – all right, good yeah. stuff. Our in-house psychotherapist, because America needs it with the way things are going, is Jill <laughs> really Payne. Listen. Wait, let me get to the break. I want to continue our conversation. Jill's on Skype with us on our little show today and uh, trying to peel the onion on what these knuckleheads are thinking that's causing them to be such extremists on the on the alt-left. All right, 922, let's get back to our in-house psychotherapist, Jill Payne, a member of – I can read the sign now. She is a member of the American Psychotherapy Association. Those conventions must be fun to go to. Uh, so let's go. And she's an author, and we met her uh, through our friends at Houston Baptist, and we helped her with her website. That's how I first met. How many years ago have you been coming on the show now? It's it's uh, almost three years. It'll be three years, I think, in uh, December. And Jill, I got to tell you something. She's such a sweetie. Uh, 
the, our media company is called 512 New Media. 512 is May 12th. It's not Austin area code. It's 512 May 12th. Because we have an abundance of birthdays here of May 12th. And Jill is the sweetheart. She takes us out for lunch and gets us little cakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, sweet of you. <laughs> we always drop what we're doing. We don't have time for lunch because we're busy. We're, we're, you know, we're, Jill's been up right. here. We make television commercials. We build, we build 82 websites. We handle the marketing and crisis communications. We don't have time for lunch. But when Jill says, I'm going to take you to lunch, and we go to this nice country club, we're like, okay, fine. Let's do it. It's on. Uh, all right, now let's talk about... Um, Anger. Well, here's the thing. Artificial yeah. intelligence. You you want to bring it up, right? Um, people and their technology, and they're just right. they're just disconnecting. There was a gal right. yesterday. Um, we have staircases here. I'll try to take the stairs, and she's looking at her phone and walking up steps. Which I don't know how you do that. Right. And they've just disconnected from society. They've just decided, for whatever reason, stress, right. anxiety. I'm done. I'm no longer going to interact with people. And this is this is going down a road which I don't think is healthy. Right. Feel free to jump in as a psychotherapist. Okay, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, what I believe in my theory is that we are creating mental illness because we are causing people to be more isolative and underdeveloped emotionally. And that's uh, when they're on this internet, they're on that dopamine circuit. So they're never getting their full reward. So they're getting hooked onto it. And so I, I, my husband was, he likes the Chronicle. I, I'd rather get the, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so there was a great article and it basically said that they've developed a robotic dog. And so, hey, that's great. You know, it's called Spot Mini. It doesn't poo. And, you know, you can take it with you. Um, and it does everything you say. But... The bad part is that it is terrifying people and they're worried about this rise in intelligence, intelligent machines. Remember I told you that they have uh, Harmony, which is a sex robot, <laughs> and they have – uh, I can't even I – can't, I can only remember her. I, I think the other one is Sophia. Sophia, Sophia is you know, the – You said sex robot. <laughs> Mr. Teller went, uh, 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 uh. I know. What's up? Real men. She looks like a real, per looks like a real person, and, and her name's Harmony. You can look her up. Whatever. And then I think the other one is Sophia. She's the Saudi Arabia um, uh, citizen. Uh, and and it's, it's very scary what's happening. So this is causing a lot of fear with people. Uh, fear can turn into anger. People are not being able to express themselves. They're what are you doing? Showing, was that showing your muscle? No, we're laughing. Real men. We're going to say, real men oh. do not engage. Okay, I'm just going to tell you. Showing your muscle. Real men do not engage in that that category. So. Oh, that category. It's real okay. men, real women, and that's the end of that. I mean, that's that's the end of that. If you're sitting there getting so, harmony and whatever the other one is, y'all so need you, to and, get your head. And I examined. hear you say that, Sam. We're humans, and if something is easy easy access then we are in tune to <laughs> no it's like what but anyway i, I understand about the the topic is de detaching from reality right and so the anger is uh people are not it, it's that we are enraged remember i just told you about that ptsd people right. are uh it's causing people to be depressed anxious if you have high anxiety you're going to be explosive in your behavior if you are um anti-social you're not going to know how to talk to people and express your anger. So what are you going to do? You're going to take out uh, knives and use cars and d do physical temper tantrums, guns or whatever, and express yourself because you can, you are un unable to do it in words. But uh, Jill Painter, in-house psychotherapist, uh, when wow. Barack Hussein, who was just an absolute disaster, I mean a disaster of a president on every level, uh, he, he's just going down as a greatest fail. How come conservatives and those who embrace God's word didn't cry, scream in public, have yell-ins, get puppies, and, and, and have trigger words and get blankets? Okay. Why are conservatives so much stronger in their souls and in their hearts when it comes to a, a bad news like Barack Hussein got reelected? Well, again, we've talked about the brain uh, differences, which I am not a neuro psychiatrist and then the other is our perception our perception was different than theirs they were more blindsided 
even though I was sort of blindsided with uh, uh, Obama at first came out of nowhere. I don't know if you remember. He was doing some tweeting or something, and then, I mean, it was supposed to be Hillary Clinton. You know, and then wait, all yeah, of a sudden, no, this name came up, Obama. I was, who is this guy? He's not going to win. You know, And then he, he won. So it's our perception of of what happens. If we perceive it as a trauma, therefore it's going to be a trauma. We perceived it. I, I'm I'm guessing because of our behavior, we perceived it as something negative and that it was temporary. They're perceiving this as this is something traumatic. It's taking over. It may kill us. Uh, we got to get rid of it. Seriously, think about it. Who was that? Uh, Waters? We, we got to stamp this out. I'm thinking, what? <laughs> Trump is just a person. Godless salt lefters are saying if Trump wins, it'll be the last election in our lifetime. And I'm like, exactly. They're, what? they're very much the Constitution. So that's, what? <laughs> what? So that's they're hyper vigilant again. And this is something people need to really look up. People that have a post traumatic stress disorder, look it up. First, I had said it was adjustment disorder, and that can cause depression or anxiety or both. And then to me, it's turned into this. And it's not everybody. Just like I said, I have a right friend right. of mine, she's a Democrat, she watches NPR or listens to NPR, you don't watch it. And uh, she is sick of it because it's irrational. So it's gotten to be that way. Crazy, crazy. Are you in house psychotherapist? So it's perception. It's crazy out there. I'm just glad to be on the healthy, normal side. Jill Payne so, is our in house psychotherapist. Don't go on the view. <laughs> they, you know what? They won't. They won't allow any strong men who are pro life, pro God, pro to, to go on the view. You're not allowed. I mean, they're, they're just not. I would just gun them down with words so fast their heads would spin. And I would. I love being outnumbered in arguments four to one, five to one. I, it's kind of the way I grew up in a big family and. They, they they wouldn't have me. They they prefer very weak, humiliated, emasculated, like your typical liberal. I I would go. I'd probably parachute in and have a field day, in just trashing, slashing, and dashing all of them. With, Actually, with the I truth. think you'd be really good on the View because you use humor. Yeah. I think you'd be re- yes. But, and so that but would they, they won't deter. Book, but they won't book me. If you're pro God, pro life, pro Second Amendment, pro Constitution, pro. <laughs> <laughs> Money, they're not they going to let me in the building. They booked Janine. <laughs> they booked Judge Janine. Why not yeah. you? Yeah. She got blindsided. I don't think she was ready. I, that's what I said to her yesterday when we were talking. But yeah. I would go there and I'd smile, make them laugh, and just trash right. them all with with truth. And right. they, like like Jack Nicholson said, they can't handle the truth. They only feel strong when there's five of these alt-lefters or four alt-lefters against one normal, healthy woman like Janine. And, it, you know, unless you're used to I grew up in a big, loud family screaming right. to dinner all the time and that's where i honed my skills of, of public speech but they're not gonna have it so so they're scared yeah, they're, they're very scared. scared and one-on-one they and, would and never. i say they it's not all it's just it's it depends on if they took this as traumatic no no and, and and one-on-one they'll never ever sit down with me ever and I, i'll i'll just sit interesting they'll never they'll never ever do it because they can't and that's where the light and the darkness have such divergent paths. I sit on the light. I'm more than happy if I'm wrong. Correct me. I don't think I am. Bring it. Our good friend Jill Payne. <laughs> She's listening to me going, dude, this guy's cocky. So can I say one no, thing? No, I got to go. Can yeah, what? real quick. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I was seconds. just talking to my mom, and she used to be very political, and I said how I want everyone to get along, and so she was talking with a girlfriend of hers, and she said, they both said about me, good luck, Jill. So that's, right. that's, that's my it. goal, Sam, is that's for it. us to all... Empathize and get along. All right, now psychotherapist Jill Payne, a member of the American Association of Psychotherapists. Have a blessed day.